hello everyone you are welcome today we have a very beautiful geometry math problem here we have given a right angle triangle with its heights or perpendicular that is tangents and there is a circle inside the triangle whose radius is tangents and here our target is to find out the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle the value of x so let's start our solution here our first step is to join the center with this point of tangency draw a radius here so this figure will become let us connect this point with the center now this is three units so this will be also three units now as we know that the radius is always perpendicular to the point of tangency to the tangent line so therefore here at this point we will have a right angle and here we will also have a right angle now three angles are right angles so the fourth angle will be also a right angle now here this is a figure having four angles are right angles so this is a square so the other three side will be also three units now here we will focus on this side of the triangle here this side has total length of 10 units but this length is three units so what will be the remaining length this length will be 10 minus three units which is seven units so here this length is seven units now here at this point we will apply the two tangents to a circle theorem so by this theorem if we have two tangents to a circle from the same external point then the length of that two tangents will be equal so here from this point we have two tangents this one and this one now this has a length of seven units so this length will be also seven units now look at to this one side here the total length of this side is x but this length is 7 units. So what will be the remaining length? This will be x minus 7. So here our this length will be simply x minus 7. Now the same two tangents to a circle theorem we will apply here. So here this tangent has a length of x minus 7. So this tangent will be also x minus 7. Now what will be the length of this one side? The base of this triangle. That will be the sum of x minus 7 plus 3. Now x minus 7 plus 3 it is just x minus 4. So here this length will be x minus 4 units. Now here in this right angle triangle we have the values of its three sides. This side is 10 units, this is x and this side is x minus 4. Now here we will apply the Pythagoras table and we will find out the value of x, the hypotenuse of this triangle. So by Pythagoras theorem the square of hypotenuse is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So therefore, from this, from this figure here we can write our hypotenuse is x, so this will become x square and base is simply x minus 4, so this will become x minus 4 square plus our perpendicular is 10, so this will become 10 square. Let's simplify this equation for the value of x, so this will become x square, we will expand this using a minus b whole square identity, so this will become this is x square plus 4 square is simply this is 16 minus 2 times x times 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. So it will become 8x plus 10 square is simply 100. Now look at to both sides there is positive x square and both sides. So therefore we can cancel x square with x square. And we will take this negative 8 to the left hand side. So this will become positive 8 is equal to here 16 plus 100 is simply 116. Now dividing both sides by 8, this gives him the value of x is, this is 116 divided by 8. And simplifying this value, this gives him the final value of x. So x will be, this will be about 14.5. And that is our final answer. 